On these more complicated missions, uh, yeah, we can use the Soyuz, but it's just, it's so, so heavy and so expensive. I think we need to use an N1 to launch it. NASA proposes a space rendezvous. Propose that as part of your upcoming rendezvous attempt mission, your Voskhod spacecraft performs an orbital rendezvous with their own crewed spacecraft. It's like Apollo Soyuz, but it's Apollo Voskhod because we're cheap skates. <laughs> the maneuver would enable both agencies to further test orbital navigation and docking methods. If they can make the adjustments necessary to carry out the rendezvous, it will cost a bit of additional funding. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, NASA are antagonistic towards us. I believe there's an achievement, actually, for doing a joint mission with someone you're antagonistic towards. I think it means, like, this doesn't mean we're friends or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely. We don't mind cooperating with NASA because they're so far behind. Um, it's just China we don't really want to be cooperating with, not that that's actually stopped us cooperating with them because we just needed <laughs> missions to be doing right uh yeah next month Vesta should be researched soon which is nice everything's complete all at the same time i'm gonna be scheduling up a lot of launches so we've got our rendezvous attempt that's 100 upgrade cost but upgrades have no points requirement okay interesting only the boosters reliability counts and commercial space imagery is complete. Rainsky 3. Beautiful. Let's schedule that thing up. So the launch reliability is 99%. Um, but this is yet another commercial mission. So I guess just payload reliability again. Optimal launch windows become suboptimal launch windows. Oh, great. <laughs> Wonderful. I guess we'll just launch in February then. They're still all right as launch reliability goes. Right, confirm. Right, then we've got this rendezvous attempt. Let's select our vehicle. Okay, go for it. Build that vehicle. That's Nosky 6. Then we've got our long duration flight. Nosky 6, Nosky 7. An advanced lander decided to explore Mars capable of returning photographs and scientific readings. We haven't even set an orbiter. We're just going to go straight for a lander. All right, this is our diplomatic mission joint with China. So we'll have to wait a little bit before we can get building our Mars lander, but, you know, we know we're not going to beat ESA. We might be able to beat NASA, though. <laughs> Chill and grill, I forgot I called it that. Right. Here we go. We probably could have got to Mars lander first if we, you know, beelined for it, but I feel like in the long run, all of our space center upgrades are going to pay off. Especially considering we're about to just do a bunch of nothing but mission research. I think it's going to be worth having built that robotics lab. It's got to be worth it, right? I was told, I think it was the, maybe it was the research expansions aren't worth building. But you've got to research those anyway to get to the, the robotics lab and such, so. I don't know. And voila, completed without any problems whatsoever. Uh, high payload reliability. Really is a wonderful thing. <laughs> These missions get a lot easier when you stop cheaping out on the payloads. Of course, we actually needed to have money <laughs> to be able to do that. But there we go. Perfect. 50% bonus reward. Beautiful. Get a little bit of science. We should get a lot more once we arrive at Mercury. Okay. And we finished researching. Ah, and China's launching their space station in 22 months. So, yeah, we're not going to get first to either of these uh, but we knew that would be the case um, let me have a little look at the Jupiter flyby and see what launch vehicle we actually need for it suggested mission vehicle parts here we go so yeah we would need um, more powerful upper stage and that is 24,000 kilograms can we lift that absolutely we can uh, I'll probably on a Soyuz no, we can't actually. I think we might need an N1 to do that. Or do we seriously need an, an N1? Probably be better off using a Proton, actually. Yeah, we, yeah, we'd probably want to research the Proton and the Centaur D. So, we're a little ways off from going to the outer planets, if I'm honest. There's no way we can get this researched and built within 21 months. Build time alone is eight months, so we'd have to research it in 13. Then there's the rocket as well. 
Yeah, there's no way. I think... Go for this robotics research lab. Get that constructing. Um, and then I'll, I'll have all the buildings I need sort of to be comfortable, if that makes sense. I'll be comfortable with all the buildings that we have. Um, minus 20% payload build cost. Why didn't I get this earlier? Holy crap. Why did I get this? Build time. It's only cost 200k. Why did I never grab this? Payloads are so expensive. I just didn't notice this building. Okay, well, let's grab that, <laughs> and then we'll grab the research lab expansion, the robotics research lab, build those, and then we just basically research nothing but missions. We'll do the space station, we'll research um, one of the flybys and get building the payload, research the proton, which doesn't need too much research, uh, and the Centaur-D, and, uh, and get heading out into the outer planets. All right, so it's a little while before anything actually happens, so we're just going to have to twiddle our thumbs for a bit yeah mars mars lander is uh on its way we're not going to be first for that but whatever here we go next budget review yeah and there we go backup power generator research complete why did we not build that earlier advanced demolition research complete i remember researching that is that just a bonus thing as our base expands the agency's engineers wait a second is that like is that like a bonus? Oh, that's a boost for completing the era. 50% obstruction. Oh, I feel really dumb. Why didn't I research that for so long? I could have researched that ages ago. Got that little bonus. Saved myself a bunch of money. With the payload bill cost and the... Oh. You can tell I haven't played this game before. <laughs> What's the era bonus for this one? 10% support from successful missions. Let's have a little look at mission research. Is there a... Yeah, we got that one. What's uh, what's this one? We only have to research these two. Minus twenty percent payload build time. That'd probably be worth having. But we'll research those once we've got our robotics lab. What about uh, vehicles? Launch reliability. Two additional contractors. Ooh, this one's worth having. It's a lot of stuff to research though. We'll think about it. Oh, I feel dumb for not researching that earlier, though. That is... That's on me. That's on me. Regardless, let's get that um, <laughs> robotics lab and see if we can make up for it. Right. Yeah, so that's actually the best place for it. Let's do it. Voila. Thanks to two launch pads. Perfect. Backup power generator. Here we complete in three months. Beautiful. Right, let's launch this commercial space imagery. This is Rainski 3, I believe. Godspeed, Rainski 3. Yeah, we haven't actually had a failure in a while. Our launch reliability has been so high. So I'm kind of just like expecting to have one. Like we're almost owed a failure at this point. But no, okay. Went off without a hitch. Fair enough. Makes me uneasy having a launch at below 90% <laughs> launch reliability at this point. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this mission took a fair bit more thinking <laughs> than I thought it would. But uh, having 99% payload reliability certainly makes things a lot easier. But yeah, we're doing it by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> Even with 99% payload reliability. Um, I think just because it's a challenging mission. And also the commercial satellite mission is already quite an advanced mission. Um, yeah, like you just can't afford for anything to go wrong, essentially. But uh, we have actually managed it, so there we go. Now let's deploy our satellite systems. If we can get a 50% bonus reward for a commercial mission, which means we will be swimming in money. And there we go. This one was a little bit more difficult because, of course, we have the drift to account for um <laughs> yeah the uh commands we were able to do weren't exactly making things easy with regard to the drift um, everything that made the drift go to the right didn't give us data which is the resource we need the most of but uh regardless we figured it out and there we go 50 percent bonus reward for our commercial satellite got an achievement victory assured for launching <laughs> something with 99% payload reliability yeah i guess it's the first time we've done that we've got advanced weatherproofing uh, as well not that we'll really 
use that upgrade, I imagine. But still, there we go. No ski 7 and no ski 6 complete next month. But now we've got a mission slot available. Let's get working on that Mars lander. We can probably beat NASA to it. And potentially going to complete the mission in six months. Yeah, missions don't tend to fail once they've already been launched. But we can beat NASA and get second place comfortably. Um, so let's do exactly that. Beat in 18 months. Okay, we can do that. How does this take to build? Six months. We're going to spend a bit of extra cash. Splash the cash a bit. And there we go. Let's build that payload. Cool. So that'll take six months, and then we'll have 12 months to build the rocket and launch it, which should be fairly comfortable. NASA offer research. Here we go. NASA have approached your agency to offer their space station research in return for a suitable donation to their space program. They've strongly implied that should you not take them up on the offer, they will share the research with another agency. Unlock space station. Uh, yes, absolutely. 20 reputation with NASA. We're making friends with NASA now, which is interesting. I guess uh, we're in the sort of detente era, aren't we? After the moon landing, we've already beaten to the moon, so they might as well be friends with us. Yeah, wait, would that... Does that mean that we might be able to... Actually launch ahead of the Chinese? No, I don't think we can quite do it. We can get in for second. Comfortable second. I think it's building the N1 as well. That takes ages. We have to s <laughs> compromise safety, I think, to launch ahead of China. But yeah, that's given us a, a little boost. NASA space station research. Yeah, that's useful. We'll get a comfortable second for Mars lander and space station, which is you know fair enough considering we haven't even been focusing on the mission tree in ages. I think, yeah, finish this robotics lab research and go for second. That'll be fine. Right, let's sort these missions out. Okay. Go for it. Rendezvous attempt. Yuri Gagarin It's going to go shake hands with the Yanks in space. Not that Voskhod even has a docking port, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> we learn not to question things. Right. And then assign Zora and Alexei to this one. I have to press the confirm button. There we go. That would help. And then the training for this one, um, yeah, I think again, just science, science training, because this is going to be quite a big science reward. And then launch August, I guess we're just launching everyone in August. Confirm mission setup. Cool. So we get loads of science, bunch of upgrades, beautiful. Rival agency offers payload upgrade. NASA's offered your agency an advanced piece of software that will grant a 10% improvement to the payload reliability of Vesta, but they'll need access to some of your technology to suitably adapt the programming. Ooh. Yeah, our reliability is high enough. We're not going to give them access to our technology. No, NASA. You're not getting our Mars lander tech. I know we just bought space station tech off you, but it doesn't mean we're friends. Right, yeah. Backup generator prevents power loss to vital facilities in the case of an outage. Minus 20% payload build cost. Man, I wish we had that so much earlier. I'm such an idiot. Regardless, though, our uh, Mercury mission has arrived at Mercury. Mercury missions are pretty difficult, though. Managing the heat is always a bit of a challenge. So, it remains to be seen whether or not we'll achieve the bonus objective here. Plus five heat every turn is a pain. It just depends what commands you have available to you. If things go wrong, like, we're screwed. Oh my goodness me. I'm actually concerned. I think we might just have to... complete the mission. You can complete the mission early. Because <laughs> we're getting very lucky with the payload. I mean, the payload reliability is fairly high. Um, we haven't had any failures yet, but yikes. I mean, <laughs> with only three turns and only th you know three commands that can get rid of heat, this is actually nigh impossible. I think we just have to end it here. We just have to get the two comms we need and the two nav we need and just take it and run. I think just charge up. 
take some comms, take some nav, and confirm it. So apparently, yeah, I was told that will end at the end of the turn if the above conditions are not met, but I think it just ends the mission early. Maybe. I mean, that's all we can literally afford to do anyway. Hopefully it will just end early. I was told it just ends early if you stay over the heat thing. So fingers crossed that happens and the, <laughs> the spacecraft doesn't explode. Task will end. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It just ends early if you exceed the heat tolerance. So we complete our mission and then it overheats and it exploded. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> wow, that was that was really difficult, wasn't it? That wasn't just me, right? Like, the heat on that was insane. The relationship with China is now allied. Look at us. Provides a large boost to science, and they provide a far greater contribution towards joint missions. Well, look at that. That's certainly worth having. Is this a moon landing? This is a moon landing. The crew for this moon landing mission will undergo additional geology training, enabling them to perform detailed examinations of lunar rocks and collect a variety of samples. Ooh. Another moon mission. Now that would be fun, wouldn't it? This is basically like Apollo 15-esque. And we get improved guidance system, plus 20% chance of a positive event during launch. Oh, that's worth having. We get 2,400 support. It's, yeah, it was 5,000 science. It's a, a very short mission as well. I don't think anything compares to doing a doing a moon mission. Yeah, no, let's do another, let's do a manned moon mission. Hell yeah, we've got enough money. Let's send another mission to the moon. Let's go for a standard boy. Cool. We're saving 20% on all our payloads now because we bought, built that backup generator. I'm, st arr, I'm still like, there's such a cheap building. Such cheap building to research and to build. And we got a bunch of bonuses for researching it. How I didn't notice it. Oh, man. <laughs> this game sometimes. Right. Let's just uh, fast forward a little bit. Ah, our research lab expansion research is complete. Let us build that. Here we go. Plus 50 science per month is always worth having. We'll just build it there. An additional 10 science per month. Just a, a constant inflow of science. That might have been a better deal to put it there, but whatever. Right, research. Let us research. Robotics research lab. That is what we want. It's only 5,000 research. Um, so let's hopefully get that completed soon. Get that built and then get working on a space station. Um, yeah, cool. Right, we're doing our rendezvous attempt. Apollo Voskhod. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Contractor effects increased by 100%. Okay, that's worth having. Here we go. Develop orbital navigation methods by attempting to rendezvous a crewed capsule. They are actually rendezvousing with NASA. So this is going to be pretty cool. Go for it. And we've got our long duration flight as well. Go for it. Which one are we launching first? Normally we launch the second one first, don't we? So I assume this will be the long duration flight. Which one is... Oh, I should have waited till it said... Which, oh yeah, it is the long duration flight. Cool. Okay, we're doing this one first. And then we'll do the rendezvous. The rendezvous one is the cool one though, so... Leave the best till last, I guess. Onwards! Onwards to the heavens! Wave to the disembodied spirit of Lenin as you fly past the clouds. So I believe they're up there for two weeks, which I'm not sure if Voskhod ever did that. I think Voskhod 2 was up for a few days. I don't believe they stayed up there for two whole weeks. We're pushing Voskhod way, way past what it was uh, capable of doing in reality. Although the resource requirements in this one were a little higher, we just had so many turns to do everything in that uh, just didn't really matter but uh, there we go complete and with a whole turn to spare I actually found myself wishing that the heat increased uh, 
a little bit more since there was a really, really lucrative command you could give that used two heat and produced a whole bunch of navigation. But there we have it. Successful long duration flight. And now we've got the rendezvous mission. Apollo Voskhod. How cursed is that? That's if NASA even has Apollo. No, they must have Apollo at this point. I'm pretty sure they performed a crude moon landing. I haven't seen JAXA do anything in absolutely ages, though. I think perhaps JAXA might be the furthest behind now. It was NASA for a long time, but I think they might have caught up with, uh, with a little bit of help from us. A massive thank you to my patrons and donators for their generous support, and an extra special thank you to Madzor, Peter Lushtinets, The Amazing Steak, Axel Jensen, Delta V, Dennis Klomp, Vermouth, Lady Lags a Lot, Simone67, Olaf Hammerhand, Scott Milligan, Nicholas Popkus, World, Wafer, Jagnath, Weir, Extra Crispy, Dreister, Lightning Gamer, Elmac, and Nobody Special.